How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over the problem types that ask what mass is needed to make a solution with a certain molarity. And uh, just before we jump into the problems, I just want to go over some of these definitions again. Uh, solutions are just homogeneous mixtures of a solute distributed through a solvent. And a solute is what's being dissolved. It's usually like a powder or like a solid or something like that. And then the solvent is what's doing the dissolving, the universal solvent being water. And that's what you're going to find uh, most frequently in these types of problems. So without further ado, I'll just jump into the first one. Calculate the mass of potass potassium nitrate, which is needed to prepare 100 ml of a 0.5 molar solution in water. So first of all, what is potassium nitrate? Sometimes you will have these problems that are going to require you to know, and they might not, they might not tell you what it is, which is gonna be unfortunate. Um, but what I like to do is if you if it's an element, just write it out and whatever charge is associated if it has one. And then nitrate we know is going to be NO3 minus. And luckily this worked out because it's a plus one and a minus one. We don't have to do anything special. We're just going to put them next to each other. And that's what it's going to be. Now, KNO3, I pre-calculated the molar mass to be 101.1 grams per mole. So we'll have that ready to go for later. And then uh, we can kind of jump right in. So essentially what we would do in the previous types of problems where we're looking for, we're trying to solve for, for the molarity, we can still use that molarity equation, which is going to be the uh, moles of solute, which in this case is gonna be the potassium nitrate uh, per liters of solution. And what are we looking for here? So if we can find the moles, then we can work backwards and find the grams uh, using that typical equation that we use. Um, so for this, we can kind of plug in what we have. We have 0.50m is going to be equal to the moles of solute over what we have for our liters, which is going to be 100 ml and we're just going to convert that into liters because it's very important for any molarity that it's divided by liters uh, as opposed to ml. Um, so from here we can just multiply both sides by 0.1 and what we're going to get there is that our n of solute should be 0 0.05 moles and now from there we can work backwards. So we know how many moles of KNO3 we have. So 0 0.05 moles of KNO3. And then we're gonna plug that into what we have for its molar mass. So we have moles on top, we need moles on bottom to cancel KNO3. One mole is equal to 101.1 grams of KNO3. And then that should give us the final answer. So what we're gonna have there is the 0 0.5 times 101, and we have 5.055 grams of KNO3. And that is going to be how many grams it takes to make that solution, to make that much of that solution. Um, so yeah. It's basically how, how these are done. Uh, we'll just move on now to the next one. All right, so we have a two molar solution is made with 6.4 liters of H2O and NaCl. How much NaCl was added to the H2O to make this solution? So first of all, NaCl, we know what that is. Um, and it has a molar mass, which I looked at before is 58.44 grams per mole. Now we'll have that ready to go for when you need it. Um, now we have our molarity equation is moles of solute per liter of solution. And we know we have 6.4 liters. And now we just need our N of solute. And we also have our molarity. Whoops, I should have plugged that in. Um, so we have 2.0 M is equal to N solute over 6.4 and we can just do times 6.4 times 6.4 and 
and we're going to get 12.8. So n of solute equals 12.8. Now we can just solve it. So we have 12.8 moles of NaCl times, we'll use that molar mass. We have one mole on the bottom because we want moles to cancel in ACL. And then we have 58.44 grams of NaCl. And from there, we can just solve that. So we have 12.8 times 58.44. We're going to get 748.032. And we can round that to 748 um, yeah, grams of NaCl. So that is the mass of NaCl that's required to make 6.4 liters of a two molar solution. Um, now we'll just move on to the last one here. Okay, a solution is made by dissolving 19 grams of KCl and 10 grams of NaOH in water. How much water must be used to make the solution 30% KCl by mass? Uh, and then what is the solution's resulting molarity? So that's kind of a bonus question there. And the um, the mass percentage is kind of just something I, I wanted to, to cover, but didn't necessarily want to dedicate an entire video to. Um, but for those of you that might not know, or, or just you know to move on with the video here, mass percentage is going to be equal to the individual mass over the total mass and then times 100. That's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's obviously how you'd find the percentage of just about anything. Um, you know, how well you did in an exam, for instance, you just divide what you got by the total amount of points. Um, but anyway, we can just kind of move forward with that. So here we have 30% It's going to equal what we have is our 19 grams of KCL over x grams, because we don't exactly know, um, times 100. So what is our x grams? What we're looking for is essentially we need to know how much water was used um, in order to add that to these two masses here. Um, so another way we could set this up is 0 0.30 is equal to 19 grams of KCl over x grams. And then we can multiply both sides by x. Uh, we're going to get 0.3x. So 0.30x is going to be equal to 19. And then we can divide both sides by 0 0.30. And we're going to get 63.33 repeating grams. And that's going to be the total mass. So now we just got this number and we have this number so we can find the mass percentage and then we'll know how much water was needed in order to do this. So um, from there we can take, make a quick calculation for the M total. That's going to be 63.33 um, minus 19 and then minus 10, which is the NaOH. Uh, and we're just subtracting those right off in order to figure out how much water we have. So we have 34.33 grams of H2O. And now uh, from there we can figure out, okay, so the first question, how much water must be used to make the solution 30%? Uh, we know that answer, that's right here. Now the next thing it's asking is, what is the solution's resulting molarity? So back to the beginning, we have molarity is gonna equal N of solute Per, um, per liters of solution. Now we have, um, let's see here. So it, basically one way that we can do this, um, like I think that if this is a problem I, I threw together so it's not gonna make perfect sense, but um, one table that would probably be required, a table could give us, um, the H, H2O grams that would result in liters. So the grams to liters, I mean, you could do it like if you had like a home uh, a kitchen scale or something like that. But basically it's just gonna be H2O grams 
divided by a thousand is going to roughly equal uh, one liter of H2O. And from there we can take what we got for our 34.33 and we're going to divide that. So what we're going to take is um, 34.33 divided by a thousand is going to equal 0 0.034 Three, three liters of H2O and that's what we're going to plug right onto the bottom there um, but the important thing is we need to uh, solve for the moles of solute in order to find that we're going to actually need to do two separate equations one for each of these so we're going to have up top 19 is it grams KCl times one mole and the molar mass is going to be 74 point five five grams and that is going to equal okay so first we have on the top 0 0.25486 and we're just going to do that make that many numbers because of how how many significant figures we have for the water we want it to be roughly accurate and you know, if we rounded that to, you know, just 0 0.3, it wouldn't really make as much sense. Um, that's going to be moles of KCl. And we're going to do the same thing for the NaOH. So NaOH times we get one mole. And NaOH is going to be the 40.0 grams. And that's just, okay, 0 0.2500, whatever, moles of NaOH. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sum of these two and that's going to be our solute. So what do we have here? 0 0.50486 is going to be our total moles of solute. Sorry, it's getting kind of messy. And then we're going to divide that by our liters of solute of, of solution sorry so which is going to be 0 0.03433 liters of h2o and okay so i think with the theoretical solution molarity is going to be 14.71 molar it's going to be the, the result sorry about that so yeah, like I said, this this isn't kind of you wouldn't normally have that there, but if you did and you'd get the table and everything, it's kind of just good to be able to take one problem and then be able to solve whatever else you can out of it, I think. And it kind of you know one more thing to to add on to the question. So yeah, this is the you know the basis of of how you know you're going to calculate the mass. And again, here's the, uh, the definitions again. And yeah, I hope this helps someone.